How you doing guys? Hope you guys are doing all right. Hope you guys are doing okay. I've been pretty good. Work is gonna be starting to pick it up a little bit. Hasn't reached its peak point yet, but it's going to eventually. Uh, right now, I've just been doing a lot of uh, maintenances. And uh, I, did, I am a service tech, but personally, I do like doing maintenances. I don't know if I talked about this in one of my previous videos. I like to, uh, you know, to me, there's times when things are slow, there's not a whole lot of service calls. And there's times, you know, you got to get some hours and so you got to do a little bit of maintenance. Me personally, I do like doing maintenance because I get to find my own work and get to do the work. And lots of times when I see the PM, it's just like a scheduled service call, basically. Like you're just trying to prevent, it's just preventing whatever you can and finding all the work you can. So that's how I see it. Whenever I walk up to a unit, I pretend, okay, something's wrong with this unit. I go through it, pressure, blah, blah, whatever. So, um... I this is, that's my main service bag. I already have a video on that. That's the uh, MV3B. So I necessarily don't take that to PMs because it has a very specific loadout. It has a bunch of stuff in there for my service calls because there's a lot of things I work on. So things I have to keep in there. So I'm gonna be. Uh, I do carry this though. This is one of my big bags I carry. But I do need to carry a little bit of uh, you know some tools basically and some things to service the unit. So I'm gonna use my old MB2 bag to make a, a maintenance bag. So I'm gonna make a video on it, tell you what I carry and what I think is the most basic things you could carry. Cause I, as you can see, I got these are all like spares. I even went and got brand new tools to uh, <laughs> to build this bag together. So I'm not gonna, I'm obviously I'm not gonna, all of this is not gonna fit in there. I'm just gonna basically see kind of. Actually, I don't think this is actually supposed to be with Mambi. That's actually supposed to be with Mambi three. So. Alrighty, so I'm gonna kind of take you guys along with this and uh, see if we can start building this PM bag. All right, guys, here's the bag, my old bag, basically. I had this bag for a long time. I actually just kept it in here, but uh, you know, I knew I was gonna use it for something. Figured I might just make, just build a PM bag or something. So, alrighty, first thing we're gonna start with the little pocket, the front one. I'm gonna throw in a stubby in there. I'm gonna throw in a, uh, where did I put this? Oh, here it is. This thermal cover for my meter. I do carry one on my bag. I just like to carry that one just for uh, some other, uh, basically I use that for a lot of refrigeration, for the refrigeration system, for the self-contains or uh, remote systems. I just, I just prefer to use that sometimes, so. A uh, four-way jumper, basically just two jumpers, combine two more to make four ways. So you got your R, got your G, your Y, and if you got a heat pump, you got your heat pump. So, or for the reverse heat pump, I guess you could say. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm not gonna keep too much stuff in there. I don't need to carry extra stuff. At least that's what I think. All right, all right. In here, obviously, you gotta have a meter. This is my first steel piece meter. I'm actually might get another one for this bag, but we'll see. Jumper leads. I'm like I'm gonna throw these uh, in a little bit later. Five sixteenths uh, quarter inch uh, nut driver. It's one of those little ends where it snaps into a quarter inch to a five sixteenths. So comes in handy. I use these for a lot of the contactors, just for that extension, I guess you could say. And of course, PM is not a PM without a filter reach. It's reach those, especially for those big uh, 15, 20 tons that you have just to get that filter. So we're going to just throw that in there. All right. Oh yeah. Go ahead and throw in a T fitting. Let me go put this in the little pocket, just in case. All righty. And as you can see, I actually got some uh, some new stuff. my old nut driver that's missing the other end so and probably has a little bit too much stuff that I don't necessarily need so I went and picked up this right here so knife stress proof packaging right So I'm gonna leave this quarter inch size because that's the most common I use. 
there we go pretty cool I'll go and throw this into the uh, bigger packaging Let's see, let's see, what else do we got? What else do we got? Two crescent wrenches. The wide jaw is just fucking amazing. I fucking love this thing. Just the wide jaw. So, I use these quite a lot. So, I'm going to go and put this in the side pockets where the more easier accessible. And then I still got the other side. I'm actually, I actually just bought this. I heard so many. I was skeptical of getting this uh, crimper slash wire stripper kind of combo because I've always liked the you know the independent crimper and having you know you're you're just you're just standard uh, you know regular strippers. This one we're actually like this one a lot actually. It, it's kind of the same thing, but I don't necessarily get a good crimp on these really. I don't, but I like these wire strippers. I like the variation of this one, especially with the thermostat wires and the that cable. So let me give this a go around. Not only that, just, just just to save room, but it has most of the wire like a cut, so this should work fine. It does feel good though. I like it. So all of my tools I like to put in the front pouch. A pair of channel locks. Your linesman's. And no, I don't use this as a hammer, just so y'all know. I don't use this as a freaking hammer. You could if you want to, but why would you want to do that? <laughs> to get a fucking hammer. Alright. Looks like they're all filled up. And I just bought this too. I was using this one, the little one, but I wanted to get the more... I like these ones. These, more, these are more, really more heavy duty. So I prefer having these. So I'm going to go throw that in there. All right, got all the packaging, some crimpers, I mean, ugh, crimpers, what the hell am I talking about? Got some dykes, I'll go and, just go and throw them in there, what else did I have in there? I don't necessarily need a, I don't necessarily need this 11 in one because I carry uh, the HVAC 8 in one in my pocket at all times, so I don't necessarily need that, I could, use that for other room so oh yeah well let's go and do the small stuff a little thermostat screwdriver thermometer actually I can keep it outside actually keep that out there and uh I'll keep a uh, filter uh, standard Phillips drivers because there's some uh, equipment some of the equipment we use to uh, change the contactors, you need a long extension, and I use this for other variations too, for the master belts too. So I'm gonna go and throw this in here, but since it's a long shank, I'm gonna keep it in there. Along with two wrenches for the blower motors, if it's good if I have to uh, adjust the belts or whatever. Common size I always carry, I carry one in my MB32, is the half inch and 9 16 Sometimes you might run into the five, the five eighths, when I rarely do that, usually you get a crescent just on both of using a crescent, so. But the well, more common less, you're gonna use these two, more common less. All right, and these are all just my pairs. I do have an extra open slot, so I'll go and throw in a pair of hybrids. These are like my favorite pliers, so I use these a lot. <laughs> Usually I'm going to use this for stripping a lot, most of my wire, so I like the stripping of it. And this is only for like if I'm stripping and crimping basically, so put it that way. Just so you don't think I'm... So, there we go. So I have a spare journeyman flyers, so, and spare strippers, spare needle nose. And this is actually not supposed to be here. This goes right here. And this is not mine, this is my co-workers. He left it at a job, so I just picked it up from him. I'll be sure to return that to him. A lot of money you put in the invest a lot of money you invest in these tools, so. so I'll put that in there. And actually, oh another thing I should involve is 
go to brush the coils. You gotta brush them out. We brush a lot of refrigeration self contains, a little co little box coil, so we need to brush them out. Definitely gonna need that in there. And uh, looks like that's gonna be it, guys. Really doesn't weigh much. I just basically carry with one arm, or if I just have to, climb up the out of the way, just around my around my wrist, and I hang it up right here so it's ready to grab and go. And the drill that I carry during the PM has all the bits that I need. And uh, I don't think I should. I think I did show you this on my updated van. Let's see, uh, do, 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 do. right there, grab and go easy, carry that in there, so that's about it guys, hope you guys enjoyed, just uh, shoot me in the comments of how, how you guys load your MB3, MB2s or how you load your PM bag, if you have any questions just shoot me a comment, catch you guys on the next one.